Hello from Stumbles. And Fumbles. So for the next couple of days, we are camping at Lake Havasu State Park, also known as Windsor Beach in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And we are actually fortunate because our spot, our camping site is actually right on the water's edge. It's been beautiful in the shade so far. Um, the weather's been about 70 degrees, maybe 72 high. And on the way down, we actually stopped at Walmart to pick up some supplies and we actually got to meet one of our favorite YouTubers and his channel is RVer TV. So you should check him out. And in the meantime, we're going to share this camping trip with you as we usually do. So stay tuned. Okay, so if you walk about 10 seconds from our campsite, you're right here at the water's edge, so you can see we can put the kayaks in right here. And you are right on the beach. I don't know if you can see down there. Fumbles was down there around trying to find different types of gulls earlier. But then you can see the campsites and cabanas are right here on the beach. And if you look back there, there's uh, Fumbles and some Summit chilling in the shade anyway it's really nice and right up there you have showers and bathrooms that are really clean so it's a nice place it's just kind of hard to get in here and get reservations but uh if you do it's worth it What are we having for dinner? Tonight is ground turkey, soft tacos with cilantro, tomatoes, and onions. Sweet. Sounds good. Yes, it does. And that is a worn out dog there. Lots of time in the lake today and running around chasing rabbits and coots. So he's ready for a nap, which I think he's already started. Okay, so we're taking our evening walk through the campground. I like how people have put their Christmas lights on the palm trees outside of their campsites. It's a nice way to be festive before Christmas. And then these sites, as you can see, they also have a waterfront. It's really, it's a really gorgeous day too. Couldn't ask for better temperatures. Here you go, kind of giving you a look around the campground and we'll continue our walk. Okay, so I'm standing under one of the cabanas here on the beach and across the lake is uh, Havasu Landing and it's actually the California side. There's a casino over there and if you go it down or Go by the London Bridge, there's actually a, a boat that will take you across the, the water to Havasu Landing so you can spend the day gambling and then uh, come back. So you could park on the Arizona side and go over to California. Um, it is on an Indian reservation, so that's why they can have a casino over there. So we just wanted to show you this beautiful evening view from the beach. So there's Fumbles down there taking pictures of some rare gall that's with these other gulls. I don't know how you even tell the difference between them, but she does. So she was all excited to find it. So not too far from our campsite, there is this little uh, desert garden and it brings in birds and wildlife and native plants. But it's got some nice trails through it, some picnic benches, and it's really beautiful. They do a good job to keep it maintained and clean. Um, so just another feature of this campground. I found a cabin that you can rent. There's actually quite a few of them, but 
this one was empty. So I went up and took a look inside and uh, it's basic. There's bunk beds, air condition, no kitchen or anything. So you have to like bring your own bedding and food and all that good stuff. But the plus side to these cabins is that you're right here. So you just walk out on your deck and the water's right here. Oh, I may zoom in on this thing in the background. I don't know if we'll feature this in our video, but we watched that boat being unloaded by crane here at the dock. So I think we'll put together a video of all that happening separately, but I just thought since it's in the background, I should probably share that with you. But back to the cabins. So there's quite a few of them down here. Looks like they're all wheelchair accessible. And even this group down here has access right to the water. Fumble Summit and I took the trail at the state park. So we'll kind of give you a view of what all's here. You start up here, there's the ranger station where you pay when you come in. Going to the left, see those campers over there? I believe that's an overflow camping area. Don't think there's any hookups there, but I'm not sure. That's something you can check. Farther down there is the watercraft rentals. Then you have the boat ramps here, a couple slips. I'm sure this place is packed in the summer and on the holidays. And then as you swing around on the trail that comes up here, it's nice. Got some benches for you to just sit and look at the lake. Down there is where the cabin rentals are along the, the shoreline. And if you look way down there, you can see some RVs and that's where the main RV park is where we're at. Anyway, just thought we'd kind of give you a, a full view of what's here and what's offered. And this is flat water today out here on Havasu. It's nice though, nice for kayaking. Just thought we'd take a quick little paddle down, maybe go through the channel or towards the channel. I'm not sure how far, but it's ideal. Temperature is great. You just got to enjoy this while you can down here in Lake Havasu. So I think that is Crazy Horse Camp Campground or something like that over on the far side there. But anyway, hope you're enjoying your day. We're enjoying ours. I'm not sure what kind of bird that is or isn't. I think Fumbles told me it was a loon. Anyway, so I paddled over here to try and get a close up for on video. There was two of them. Well, they go underwater for quite a ways. I don't know where the other, all the other one I think was just out to my right by this buoy. Anyway. I don't know what they are, but I think she said they're some kind of loon. I mean something to bird people. I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, here goes Fumbles in her quest to get out by the loons with her big telephoto camera or whatever you call it. Her big lens that looks like an artillery cannon. So in closing, I thought I would let you know what we thought of this campground. It's actually one of my top two favorite campgrounds. It's uh, clean. We actually had sites, a site with full hookups, which we normally don't need because we always have our goal zero and Jackery, but it was nice to actually have them this time and having a, a water spigot right at our site, which was a benefit too. It's very clean. I enjoyed having showers that were free that you didn't, in other words, tight wads, but it's nice to just go take a shower and not have to have so many quarters with you because who really cares around quarters anymore? But um, I thought I would sit down here at the beach to close this out and just say how much we really like to hear and thank you for watching and we will catch you guys on our next trip so from stumbles and fumbles catch you then